You will go on my first... So whistle. Kieran has a four-second lead, James, but with James saying this is how go he feels, going into the ring, whistle. even four minutes might not Three, be enough. Two, one. He's off, and it's a massive lead by Kieran. He almost landed in the flames, charging through the water, but here comes James. Next up, the cargo net, and Kieran struggling to get going. James whittling down that four-second deficit, but he's also finding it difficult. And it's Kieran who reaches the top first. He practically throws himself over the top. James hauling himself over, but no problems for Kieran on the floor, Travelator, straight onto the handbike. Here comes James, though. Oh, he's down! He's down! What a nightmare! The Travelator sends him back to where he started. Kieran pulls away on the handbike. And no mistake, second time for James, who wastes no time straight onto the handbike. Kieran desperately trying to keep his lead intact. James's hand speed will surely be an advantage here. But no, he's stuck. He's in all sorts of trouble. Kieran charges onto the pyramid, and James literally willing himself to get across. Kieran's nearly at the top. It's a nightmare for James. He's finally off the handbike. If he can nail the pyramid, he could still gain some time back. But down comes Kieran, safely down the zip wire. James not giving up, though. Kieran's exhausted. He's practically strolling to the Travelator. But James is on his way down and closing in fast. Kieran needs to get a move on. And away he goes. James is there, one mistake from Kieran, and James could be back in it. But no mistake, and it's Kieran who wins the battle of the athletes. Oh, and James has fallen again. Once more, the Travelator takes him down. But crowd willing him not to be beaten. Here he comes again. There's no way an Olympic champion gives up. And finally, James DeGale conquers the hardest assault course on the planet. Wow. I'm exhausted. I didn't do anything. I was just watching. That was absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Well done. How do you feel? I feel absolutely I'm so tired, but the crowd, thank you, were absolutely fantastic. Hey, the good thing is, I just had that head start. Oh, I struggle on this one. Oh my. Oh. How hard is that? And then you go back and back and forth. Hey, got to go backwards to go forward sometimes. Yeah, no, it was pretty hard. Your Travelator face was the best Travelator face I've oh. ever seen. <laughs> Tell us again, who's your charity? Noah's Ark, Children's Hospice, kids who are. Big round of applause, everybody. And James, it was close, it was so close, and it was the first Travelator where you kind of went head over oh, bum. And then it took you back. Yes. I sold you, oh. I'm used to all that. I could, but, oh! <laughs> Good footwork there. Look, it's mad, that Travelator, though, it's crazy. What happened on the last Travelator? The last little bit. I thought I was there, but I weren't, and it just took me down. We're going to have a look at the moment you made it now. Check this out, everyone. Absolutely brilliant. In fact, should we bring the girls in? You've all been incredible today. You've all given us 110%. So I tell you what, we are going to give £5,000 to all of your charities. Yeah. So, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, an incredible eliminator. Let's give it up for our sporting superstars tonight. What a great battle! Well done. What an incredible night. Those sporting superstars have got it all. Now, Ian, you keep telling me that you're a sporting superstar. When yeah. are we going to see you up against Tornado? Tornado don't want to take on the volcano. Oh, but whatever. Join us next time for another edition of The Hardest Show on TV. It's Gladiators. Good night.